As Meave and company traversed the ruddy meadows, strident voices reached their ears. I beg your pardon. I've heard enough. A duel. I challenge you to a duel. A duel? Nonsense. I'd sooner lay you across my lap and give your ass a thorough flailing, you scoundrel. The Queen approached the arguing parties. Two nobles, Lords Cartwright and Mansfield. Quickly, she ascertained they were up in arms over ownership of an orchard lying between their estates. Assisting both nobles, their kinsmen, armed to the teeth, prepared to leap at each other and crush heads. Upon spotting Meave, the lords lowered their voices, bowed and presented themselves. Yet they could not keep their ire fettered long and were soon casting aspersions again. Y your Grace. Mansfield has seized it. No, no, stolen my land. Land that has been in my family for generations. It is my recompense for your reckless deeds. To burn down me mill in Furchin for a bit of sawdust in your flour? Well, I never. A bit, a bit. Oh, let me at him. Farmhands taken ill, cooks feverish, all from that manure. You are a fraud, sir. A fraud and a thief. Though she faced the not-at-all trifling matter of the Nilfgaardian invasion, Meave agreed to settle the dispute. Reynard, who knew the history of every Lyrian and Rivian family seven generations back, served as her advisor. No doubt I would find for the Cartwrights. They are in the right here as regards the title to the land. Yet your grace must consider. The Mansfields have ever served the crown and never delayed payment of tribute, whereas the Cartwrights the Cartwrights are litigious charlatans who owe the royal treasury thousands, many thousands. From what I've gathered, you've both burdens on your conscience, said the Queen. And I've neither the time nor the inclination to ascertain who started this feud. You will split the orchard in two. Make do with half a piece. But my queen! Should my judgment displease you, Mansfield, I can always incorporate the land into the crown. The queen's threat silenced the feuding lords, yet it failed to bring their conflict to a close. In a few years' time, they were at one another's throats yet again. Some it's wrong that Abbot's ravine. They have whinnies and screams at once. 